Pittsburgh area. And we understand that our Tri-Cities Bureau Chief Wayne Koval has just returned from that area. He joins us now to give us the latest. Wayne? Roger, you were talking about unnerving. Well, let me tell you right now, I'm extremely nervous, extremely unnerved over what I saw. I was two blocks from downtown Petersburg in my office working on a story for the 6 o'clock news. What I heard and what the people in my office building heard was just loud wind. In fact, you know, you could hear the whistle in the doors. All of a sudden, we heard somebody run out the street saying, you know, a roof's off a building. I grab my gear and I start running. You know, you think that you're going to see a building with the roof off. No, that's not what you see. You see total devastation. Roger, it's just, it's unbelievable. It's hard to describe. These are friends of mine that I've met over the last seven months. There are stories I've done about how, how important downtown Petersburg is to the economy, how important downtown Petersburg is for jobs. Those people who are working downtown, there were tens of people trapped. There were two or three people trapped inside several restaurants. I spoke with several people. The head of the Department of Tourism, Bill Martin, his car was destroyed. Um, it's just, at this point, it's hard to describe. What you're seeing and what the folks at home are seeing, they're seeing shots of downtown Petersburg. The, what is described as a tornado, the classic freight train sound that everybody told me about, it came through, it was there, and it was gone. Then what was left? A lot of the old buildings downtown, as you see, a roof is gone. A lot of the tin blown, caught into the guide wires, caught into the cable television wires, telephone wires. Lots of windows, lots of glass, people running around, screaming, everybody trying to find their loved ones. There are people who were visiting, who were tourists down there, who were inside the French Betsy restaurant. They heard the classic freight train. Somebody yelled, get under the table. Boom, they're under a table. It's, it's unbelievable, and we'll have a lot more coming up tonight at 6. Wayne, did you hear anything before you left the area about severe injuries? What I do know and what I saw was a lot of people, they were just, anybody who was there was digging people out. And, uh, you know, you can say a lot about the rescue squads. They were there on the scene. There's no really one command post set up while I was there because it was right, right after everything had happened. I have not heard of any fatalities. A lot of people were pulled from the wreckage. They are going to nearby hospitals. But, you know, a lot of people in injured. But at this point, we've heard of no fatalities anywhere at this point. Just looks like a bomb went off there, Wayne. It's, you know, I've been doing this for five and a half years, and, and it's, it's hard to describe, and it is like a bomb. Um, you're looking at the downtown um, flea market. They just put a million dollars to revitalize that. It is gone. Businesses that have been there since before the Civil War are completely flattened. Businesses that survived the bombing and the siege of Petersburg are gone within a matter of a minute because of a tornado. And that's something we mentioned earlier, the economic development aspect of the Old Town community as well.